With the recent installation of Brooklyn-based artist Risa Puno's sculpture in Chantown Gate Park, we can begin to think about the intricate history of public art and activism in Boston Chantown. Chantown streets are lined with commissioned public art and graffiti, all of which portray different opinions and perspectives that show how our community is built. Within Boston Chinatown is Wynn Thiessen, who has created a range of work from murals to public installation pieces throughout Chinatown. His work often celebrates the stories of the local community and highlights themes of resistance. One of his murals, which is still proudly painted on Oxford Street, depicts the original piece by Wayne Yun, Travelers in an Autumn Landscape. This mural is often referred to as the Chinese Heritage Mural. In 2016, he created an installation piece in collaboration with the Chinese Historical Society called Hometown. This piece celebrated the past residents of Chinatown while highlighting the vast gentrification that has impacted its residents. His work has long been an inspiration to many artists and activists. Murals are some of the most common public art pieces in urban places. Murals are accessible to everyone, which helps spread messages or ask questions of the surrounding community. As long-time residents are pushed out by rising home prices and new buildings, Asian Americans are at risk of becoming a minority in Chantown neighborhoods. As many Chantown residents face displacement this year, public art becomes more important than ever. I'm Gina Ha. I'm the Youth Programs Manager at Asian Community Development Corporation. My name is Lena Huang. I'm a senior at Boston Lawn Academy and the youth of A Voice. So the Sing Chinatown mural, um, also known as Tied Together by a Thousand Threads, is actually just one part of um, the larger work that we do at ACDC. Basically in the mural, there's, there's bubbles that represent times in the combat zone or the red district, um, the red district zone, and those are periods in which uh, there was a lot of community activism going on in modern times of Chinatown, like Dim Sum Place and uh, the place where they sell really yummy chicken. <laughs> and overall, it just ties together of what really Chinatown's made of, these different histories in time, and what really makes, up, makes it as a community. Yeah. So the point of the mural is to show Chinatown past and present. So there are some murals, as Lena was talking about, that highlight the Chinatown's past. But we don't know those stories, and unless we preserve it, um, and share what Chinatown used to be and how far we've come because of community protests. Brooklyn-based installation artist Risa Puno worked at the Rose Kennedy Greenway to bring a new sculpture to Chinatown Gate Park in 2018. Like I used to think the community really was just like an area or like a neighborhood or a group of people who lived in a neighborhood, but I've learned through the Boston Chinatown community that community really is about like shared ideals, shared goals, like a common experience. But I think public art specifically is really important because um, it's accessible. They become sort of monuments for the community. They speak to what the community is about. But the thing about public art is you get to reach so many more people. Um, and you get to reach people who aren't necessarily just seeking out art. I've been following Reese's work for a few years now. Her work is really about community and how you move through space, but in a very playful manner. Her new work is really about um, play and games that don't have a beginning and don't have an end. And I think that was really important in the concept for this artwork. And so I knew that she would be a really wonderful fit. So we are actually on our fourth iteration with Reese Puno. It's actually a complicated process. It almost takes over a year to, from start to finish. So Risa began meeting with the community. She wanted to really make this a generational thing. And throughout that whole process, it took about um, eight hours to fully install the artwork on site. Uh, the artist drove up with the artwork, and my team at the Rose Kennedy Greenway helped her install all of that uh, and open the same day. So it, it actually takes about a year, year and a half almost to create an entire artwork. Um, public art really, I think, helped shape and beautify, but also tell a story and tell a narrative. I hope that my sculpture benefits the community by connecting people. The Zodiac Dog is supposed to be the harbinger of friendship, and I really hope that my sculpture does that. I hope that it helps people connect with people they know, as well as make new friends, and help share personal histories. The importance of Reese's work is to connect with both young and old, to find ways to appreciate one another's culture and background stories. Art is a great physical way for people to see what the environment is like in Chinatown, and it really is a good way for people to learn more about it. People can interact with the art, and having it in public areas like Chinatown can allow people to see it every day. In addition to that, art can reflect how our communities are alike 
and it can show the history such as the culture of the people. By having public art in our community, it can show the different features and it can also show us the difference between the communities which makes them unique.